Hello everyone, this is Zodiac, and this is Chamber of Arms, the Peaceful Mage of Purity, also known as Vendia Matrix. If I even got that pronunciation right. Uh, this is a 50 energy fight. Uh, for winning, you get the Assassin's Dagger, which, well, let's not kid ourselves, it's an Orient Prize. But I'm wanting to hopefully get one for Nyx before his 7 Star Awakening comes Thursday. Uh, getting back on track, uh, beat her within 30 turns, you get two ticks. If you summon Gollum, you get a Trust Moogle, and this is going to be the pain in the ass right here. No Limit Burst. You want to get Necropolis. Uh, so that means we can't rely on a Limit Break Finish. We can't rely on Limit Break AoEs, Limit Break Heal, Limit Break Buff, anything. We have to win this off of Abilities. Very quickly, because we got a lot to go over, uh, lineup. Uh, the top five are in primarily for the preemptive sleep prevention. Uh, Wilhelm is coming in with Enhancer Plus, Shield of Empire, Grand Helm Force, Ring of Toughness, and Arsh's Talisman, alongside Panzer Omega, Patriarch Recall, Heavy Armor Arts, and Heavy Chimera. He is here just to take the physical hits. He can break, and he's also going to be our Golem Holder. Uh... I'd say if I lose him, it's going to go to pot real quick. Uh, I believe uh, she does primarily magic attacks and does not really do uh, AoE physical. So he's just there to pull in the brunt of the damage. Uh, Ramza is going to be breaker. He will not be entrusting and not be doing any limit break because, well, we can't do that. So he's primarily a breaker and support with his barrier heals if he needs to. Really not going to have much going on with him, as you see. I just gave him a ribbon, slapped some spirit on him. He's just there to make things, you know, stay stationary. Uh, Orlando is also starting out with Sleep Resist. Uh, running Sasuke's Katana, Edric's Sword, because uh, this boss has a 300% Light Resist, so no Thunder God Sword this time, folks. Genji Helm, Colossus, ran his attacks high as I could. So he's going to help us during... Uh, phase one and perhaps the last round whenever we need to push massive damage at the end Nickel is back, but not going to be doing any limit breaks today folks uh, Again, just got him some sleep prevention. He's gonna act as a mana battery buffer and Just basically keep everyone going and keep everybody buffed uh, Lotus Mage Fina is running the usual holy one hairpin Sarah's Robe, although Prodigy's Goggles probably won't be needed, but Pure White Blessing, also another Mana Battery, re Reser Cure, typical White Mage stuff. And you see the top row. And uh, some of my offense and other remaining teams, Barbara Rishia, is being brought in as our caster, and because I think around the, I want to say 80 to 70 threshold, she resists three elements outright, Wind being not one of them. So I, uh, all the magic. All of it. <laughs> Just as much as I could throw on her. So hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, our magic tank is going to be Misty once again. She'll be doing a Clear Veil to prevent sleep. Uh, I don't expect her to do much else but just be a magic tank and absorb some of the hits as we hit threshold. Ayaka is also in. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. Um, while we're at it, yoink, do not disturb. Uh, sorry folks, continuing on, uh, I gave Ayaka an invigorator and got her spirit as high as I could. She's also going to act as a second re -rizzer, second cure, second mana battery. Lots and lots of support in this fight. And lightning is not equipped with a second weapon. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Well, let's fix that real quick. Go ahead and take Glocka's great sword. All right, there we go. Uh, as you can see, it didn't quite come fully ready. Uh, she's going to be here to be a uh, lightning debuffer and also an attacker if I need her. Uh, primarily with her uh, lightning strike to help this person. She's back. It's Olive. Um, I gave her a demon horn because it changes into a beast in the final rounds. Uh, as much attack. And beast killer as I can get. I believe she's got Ifrit on. Yes, she does. Okay, so uh, 
this is going to be uh, what they call the 49% one turn kill tactic. So we did not give uh, my magic tank any elemental resist. We are simply just going to push through the um, initial, I guess you could say, five transitions and just try to hold ground. And then once we get to 49, I'll bring in what I would call the sack group. And then that will be that. So I have not done this before, but I've done a lot of reading. I've seen a few vids. We'll see if I can one shot this. Yes, you're seeing that correctly. Those are item world potions. I forgot the timer on them, but we'll get to that later. All right, so round one. Okay, so she debuffed the group and attempted the sleep, but it did not work. So starting the battle off, there we go. She is resistant to physical attacks. So we are going to make a swap here. Misty is going to come in for Ramza. Um, let's see. I'm going to move her to my heel spot. I'm very finicky about who I want to put where. We're going to get uh, Barbaricia there. And I want Lightning to get one turn in so that way she gains access to her cooldown. All right. So turn one, we're going to start with the usual. Re-res on both the tanks. Let's make sure we get that locked in. Wilhelm is going to do impregnable. Misty's going to do with the wall. Um, let's see. I will actually have Lightning do Endless Army to buff herself. It won't deal any damage, but she'll have it for when we transition into last phase. Okay, so no damage, but she's buffed. Uh, Barbaricia is going to open with Tornado and go into Erosia. That's 1%. And Valor is going to fill the limit break gauge, which does us no good here. Okay, we're going to take Lightning out. We're going to bring in Olive. Okay. So now we're going to have to cast Re-Res on Misty and cure the group. Make sure I'm committing to this. Yes. All right. Uh, Wilhelm is going to do D-Rod Crusher to break the magic. Okay. Olive is going to do Empowering Shot. This is to give her a 150% boost again no damage but we're just prepping up Misty has to do the wall again and this time Barbaricio will do double Eroja yeah there's the wind down hmm And somehow, uh, okay, I am not sure what happened there. The mortar beacon counted as damage and is going to push the transition. So it means Barbaricia won't be able to deal damage this turn. Odd. Okay, so since we transitioned on phase three, I don't think she's going to do her move where she uh, sucks her MP out. Um, I am going to actually swap 
in for Orlando for two reasons. He's going to be my physical attacker later on. And more importantly, I need him to build up for a perfect Ultima Blade for the later round. And then I'm going to bring in a Nickel for buffing. Okay, so once again, Lotus Mage Fina, Rerez on Misty, and Cure the Group. All right, Maritime Nickel is going to do Link Soulful Stance and Impregnable. Get some barriers going here. Um. I don't want to do absolute defense. It seems like that would be a waste. I'm going to do guard smite. Misty's going to do her wall move again. And Orlando is going to just... Uh, yeah, he's just going to do divine... Actually, no. Yes, no. Yeah, Divine Ruination wouldn't matter because he's not using a Holy Elemental Weapon, so we'll just we'll just block with him. Okay, Morning Refusal, Grief. And still couldn't survive that, man. Alright, so at this point, she now resists magic. And I'm going to swap out Nickel for Ramza. Okay. I'm going to dual cast Rerez on Misty. And Kiraja on everybody else. Act no, 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 no. Delay that. Rerez on Misty, Rerez on Lotus Mage Fina as a just in case. Yeah, everybody else is healthy. Wilhelm impregnable. Misty does a wall. Uh, Ramza is going to break both spirit and defense this turn. And we'll actually be able to. Mm, didn't push any damage, I don't think. He did not. All right, let's see whether Orlando can do anything with Divine Ruination. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Esper Gage is building. No Limit Break still. And Misty is finally going to survive a turn. <laughs> and here comes some counters. Oh, Ramza did deal damage. It's just that the numbers are popping really low on there. Okay, do not do Lotus Mage Fina's Limit Break. Uh, Self-reminder. Alright, I'm going to have Misty do Clear Veil, so that way we have Stat Prevention up. Uh, Wilhelm is going to reapply D-Rod Crusher. Mal, go Wilhelm. Ramza is going to put up uh, morale boost. This will be a 2k barrier. And I am going to put Kira group and re-res on for lack of things better to do or Landu just in case. Or Landu is going to repeat uh, Divine Ruination. And that transitions into the next phase, 79%. And Misty died again. Okay, now at this point, she resists fire, ice, lightning, and water. So Olive won't be able to do anything here. But we do need to continue to build that Esper gauge. Also, I believe our brakes are still up. Well, minus the, the wind resist. Okay, so Ramza is pretty good at this point. I 
I believe I bring nickel back in for buffing. I think that's a smart move. And also, it looked like since we transitioned... Oh, wait. I think the transition is this. Oh, she might do the MP drain move. Well, we'll have to see. Either way, Misty is going to have to redo wool. Yeah. We have to put re-res on her. And I'm going to put re-res back on Lotus Mage Fina as a precaution. Um, we're going to go ahead and, for lack of anything better to do, de-sword crusher. We need to build that Esper gauge. All right. We're going to do linked stance, soulful, and another impregnable. Okay. Orlando is going to continue divine ruination. Ooh, so close. Gloom. And Wilhelm is laughing right now. All right, the Esper Gauge is nearly full. So, let's see, this is turn seven. We definitely are going to transition well. Misty has re-res. Uh, I'm thinking about reapplying Clear Veil. I think that's a good idea. Oh, wait, wait. Mm. I want to swap Nickel out for Barbaricia for a, a reason here. The main reason is I want to chain up and I want to fill the Esper Gauge this turn. This would be a good turn to... Oh no, it is turn 7. He has to... He has to provoke. Yeah, he does. There's no way around it. Yep, so clear veil and all that. So we're going to aim to fill the gauge this turn. Plus she's going to be resistant to, I think, physical next turn anyway. So this needs done to set up. Okay. So let's see if Orlando can get anything out of this. Esper Gage pushed, so that's still a plus. Um, I just feel like spread and re-res is a good idea right now. And Orlando has certainly got his four turns for perfect Ultima Blade. There goes Misty. Okay. So right now, uh, she now has a buff to her attack. And she's broke to all get out. So physical. So Barbaricia has to stay in. But we're going to do some rotation in the light up here. Okay. We're on turn 8, so we're well within 30 turns. Uh, it looks like the main attack force does look very good, although Orlando does have a debuff. I still think it's going to be pretty good, though. Okay. Misty died this turn, so she has to reapply the wall. We've hit the thresholds, it seems like, on cue, so no MP drains have happened. Reapply, re-res. And... I'm going to put re-res on... Nickel, I guess. Okay. We're going to do Link Stance, Soulful, and Impregnable. Wilhelm is going to wait a turn because we need to see if we can pull... Actually, you know what? We're just going to dual cast the Tornado and Erosia to ensure we get the, the Golem Summon this turn. As this is the perfect opportunity to do so. There it is. Summon Golem. So there's that win con. 
Now we just got to win within 30 turns with no limit break. Okay. Misty might survive. She does. Which is excellent for next turn. <laughs> Valor increases the limit break gauge but does nothing for us. All right. One moment, I need to consult my guide here. Okay, so she is going to do with my people, which is going to do AoE sleep. So I do need to do clear veil, but we need to bring Rams in to break. Yeah. All right, so clear veil. And then re res. Actually, Karaja. Re res. Lotus Mage Fina. Wilhelm can break her magic. Ramza can break spirit defense. And we're just going to dual cast uh, Erosia. And there's 59%. Killer intent with my people. Misty dies a horrible, painful death. Comes back alive. All right. So this is leading up to the final 49%. She's now, again, weak to physical attacks. Uh, broke to all get out. All right. So let's swap... Ramza out for Nickel. And Orlando for Barbaricia. I think that's correct. Yes. Yeah. That looks good. Alright. So, we're going to do Impregnable with Wilhelm. Misty has to do Redo Wall. Lotus Mage Fina is going to dual cast Rerez and Kiraja here. Okay, Nickel is going to Link Stance, Soulful, and Impregnable. Okay, Orlando must not do Perfect Ultima Sword this turn. He's going to do Divine Ruination. Let's see, killer intent, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so this is the transition push. So what I want to do this turn is I'm going to put in, I think I put in Ramza here. And then I'm going to swap Lotus Matrina out for Ayaka. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, buffed, buffed. Yeah, that should work. Just doing some math, guys. Just doing some math. Um, all right. We're going to have... Let's see. It's, oh, it's dual white on her. Re-res on Orlando in case the transition goes bad. And we're going to cure Raja here. Yes. Okay, Ramza is going to redeploy nothing because morale boost needs a turn. So we are going to reapply the brakes for spirit and defense. 
We are going to also reapply D rod. Ooh. Yeah, do D rod crusher. Misty is going to do wall just to make sure she funnels in the damage. And Orlando is going to divine ruination and push us to 49%. My God. Well, that's a hell of a transition. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Her move takes everybody to low HP. Wilhelm died because he had the highest spirit. Okay. No problem. We're going for the kill this turn. All right, so Lightning comes in. Barbaricia comes in. Nickel comes in. And Olive comes in. So this is it. We either win here or we lose. But fortunately, the debuff slid off of uh, Orlando. So this is looking very favorable. Okay. Let's start with buffing first. We are going to go Demonic Stance and Furious Stance. We're going bored on this one. And just to show, you know, we did lose the Tornado there, but I think she still was accumulating, so it still works. All right, so here comes the buffs. All right, Barbarisha is going to open this up. Tornado Erosia. Okay, not bad. Lightning is going to do Lightning Strike to put the Lightning debuff up. That looks promising. Orlando is going to do Perfect Ultima Sword. Olive is going to do Immolation Blast. So... Turn 12 kill, satisfies 30, Golem was summoned, and no limit breaks. And not only that, that was a one shot too. <laughs> Hope everybody has a good week getting Hyo and upgrading your sevens, and I do hope the video helps. If you like what you see, tell your friends, like, subscribe, and I'll keep making these videos. As always, everyone, thank you for watching.